on there because I got some shit to say to you. Go ahead, <laughs> man. I, I'm always ready. You know what I'm saying? gonna have some shit to say lined up. I'm gonna have my phone just like that too. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up? What up? What up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shad. Shad vs. A-Body Podcast, episode 20, goddamn one. Moving up in this motherfucker, man. Yeah. We got a uh, special guest in the building. You know what I'm saying? She a uh, podcast creator of uh, One Truth, Two Stories, uh, party promoter. Uh, Joy Roll legend, you know what I'm saying? From Joy Roll, right? Shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's a mom, content creator. You know what I'm saying? We got Pretty Pink in the building. AKA yeah. Steph. Which one? Steph? Pretty Pink? Which it's, one? I prefer Big Steph. Big Steph. Oh, <laughs> shit. Big Steph. Now, when I hear the, the, the name Pretty Pink, I think about certain things. So. What's that certain thing? You know, you know, that, that, you know your little good, your goods and shit. You know what I'm saying? Pretty Pink. You know, one plus one is two. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, how did you get the name Pretty Pink before we start off anything? Like, honestly, I didn't have no other options on Instagram. Mm -hmm. They were saying everything was used. Mm hmm. So you, just, so you just took that day, huh? I was like, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does so, this work? Like, but yeah. Have anybody ever cut, came across you like, you know, saying, hey, I see why your name is Pretty Pink? No, they just be like, what's up, Pink? <laughs> like, okay. they'll say something like that. Yeah. They don't really say Pretty Pink. They just be like, what up, Pink? Okay, okay, okay. But Big Steph is what you want to go by, huh? Yeah. All right, for sure, for That's sure. My shit. Big That's Steph was partying her ass off last night. I was a little worried and shit. You know what I'm saying? Woo. I was a little worried you might not have made <laughs> turn, and shit. Turn, turn. They yeah. had downtown rocking. Mm hmm. Nice little Saturday vibes. <laughs> now, before we uh, got on camera, we was talking about how me and my producer <laughs> don't party at all and shit. We just, you know, we just chill and shit. We old. But you said, fuck that. You're going to always party. Yep. And you tell them to come the fuck outside. Yeah. So you'll never see a time where you just die down and shit. Just, you know what I'm saying? Calm down no. and shit. Chill. No. You got to stay youthful. <laughs> yeah. What about when you a, uh, what's name? When you a married woman? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he going to have to come outside too. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna have to like the shit too. <laughs> yeah, you hear that, Marcus? Gotta calm down. <laughs> gotta go outside too, cuz. <laughs> now, we start with everything with Salute Me While I'm Here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we give them their flowers and shit. Instead of, you know, showing them that love while they can still, you know, perceive it. But it can't be an easy answer. It can't be, I don't think you're in a relationship. I did enough research. Uh, it can't be a, somebody you're in a relationship with. It can't be parents. And it can't be no kids. So, you got somebody you wanna go ahead and send some love to? Yeah. Um, I will start off with the twins for the podcast. Oh yeah. Um, S they for AJ. sure helped out, and then of course you. For sure. Oh shit! Hell yeah. And then Derek as well. Everybody who basically showed me love, allowed me to be on their set. Mm -hmm. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now I usually don't salute like kids and people I'm in relationship with shit, but I'm gonna salute my son just cause he his birthday tomorrow and shit. Shout out to my dog Big AD and yeah, shit. Yeah, you always shot for that. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. We got some liquor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, we, we got bottles, but them bitches empty. But you I'm, taking a shot. Shout out to my dog, Big AD. About to be a big eight and shit, man, in the house and shit, man. So shout out to my dog. My oldest son so fucking old, so now he became my homie and shit. Because my oldest son get old and shit, so he about to get the fuck out the crib. How old is your son? Uh, shit, he about to be 18 in December. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I got me old head. He about to be eighteen. My little dog about to be eight, and then my little that's mama, a big that's a yeah gapping like then my little mama about to be uh four in December. So yeah, my oldest son, you know, you know, you know when you you know our high school, you just don't know what you're doing when you fucking. That's out the blue. That's more like <laughs> <laughs> every time you feel like you about to have a baby. Yeah. That's how that age gap works. Yeah, that that was yeah, but <laughs> like, that one I just when I had my eighteen year old, I'm like, all right, I'm cool, like I'm chilling, and then yeah. you know what I'm saying once you find a little one, then you like fuck it, you know, we good. So you know what I'm saying. I can't talk about my son. He'll be seven this year. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say too um, to you. I know you're a mother. How did motherhood change you? From but before you had him, and then to you know saying once you had him, how did what some things that changed about you? I changed for being a motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> but it it made me so mature. Like it gave me patience. Mm -hmm. um, it showed me like what real true love is. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, hell yeah. What, so you was what you wilding out? Like did you feel like if he didn't come, you would have been on yeah. some other shit? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, hell yeah. Shout out yeah. to the shout out to the kids that could change your life and shit. Yep. Now. Uh, now, Steph, it's a big moment that's about to partake in your life. Yeah. You about to become auntie status. You uh, This is your last year in your 20s. 
you, you ain't there, but you you approaching it. So oh. uh, September thirtieth, uh, Steph will be thirty years old. Damn. <laughs> See this phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So how do you feel? I, you hear this shit? <laughs> how do you feel approaching? You claim you you up there, you on top of step. So you about to be 30 years old. I'm I'm like, <laughs> damn. You still young, so ain't like I put a bad age out there. Shit. Like, ain't like about you to, put the age as fuck out there. Like, <laughs> you was like, oh, by the way, September 30th. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure y'all get us something for our birthday and shit, man. Please. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Last day about to get, you know what I'm saying? You right on that custom, you know what I'm saying, cooling off and shit temperature was <laughs> so how you feel though cause like at 29 for me I was like damn this shit crazy I ain't 20 nothing no more I'm about to be 30 8 yeah, I'm 38 now yeah I want them to know your age too yeah yeah I'm old yeah, I'm old here I'm old here shit I'm old out here you got something to say <laughs> no, I'm 45 I'm doing mine yeah yeah so I, I all my experiences so how you feel uh, I mean, it feel good because a lot of women and young females, like, she just was showing me an article on Crime and a D. A mm -hmm. 21 year old was shot at a block party. Yeah. So, condolences to her family. Right and here. Same. And I'm living to be 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. So, I'm thankful for that. Yeah. And also, I almost died twice. Yeah. Uh, shit. Well, shit. Talk about that. Cause I almost died Monday. Um, I was in a rollover car accident. Yeah, that happened to me. And then the second time, I ran into a pole. Yeah. God damn. So, how, was this a long time ago? Like a, a This was last year. Last one year. happened in May. The other one was October. Mm-hmm. So. I talk about that, like your mindset. Like, how long did it take you to get over, like, just the, maybe a fair driving or just, you know what I'm no, saying? No, I was driving the shit. next day because it's like, if I didn't, I still had to go to work and stuff. I still had to mm -hmm. continue to move around. And then I don't stay in the city. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I can't depend on my family to be coming all the way out there where I stay to come get me or take me anywhere. Mm hmm. Yeah, that shit happened to me Monday. Monday night, I was on my way to work. Nigga took me out, almost took me out the game, going about 70 plus miles. I was on, uh, damn, excuse me, eight mile lasher. Hit me, car flipped over. But shit, I was straight, no no airbags went off, nothing. But I I'm, I got soreness like in my back and my neck and shit yeah. like that. But I could have been dead, fucked up, broke up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why I say it's truly a blessing. I feel like God is God's timing mm -hmm. for everything. It's always God's timing. Now, after the accident, did you feel like, all right, shit, it's like, I, it's a purpose for me to be here like I gotta make some shit happen because you know a yeah, lot of times you sure. just be living but once you get those near death uh, uh, stories or those positions you like damn I really gotta like shit life could be over with in the, in the, in the blink of eye yeah for sure and I also of course I thank God first but I also mm -hmm. feel like my brother played a part too because mm -hmm. he passed away 11-17-2022 yeah, I was gonna ask about that so I didn't I feel like he didn't want my mom to experience the same death yeah, twice yeah. and so recently mm -hmm. no for sure hell yeah rest in, rest in peace to bro I was gonna ask you like like I ain't lost close people in my family like both parents and shit grandparents you know I know how it is to lose somebody that's close to you I don't know how it is to lose a sibling though but like how is it to lose like a brother like how do you get over that shit and how do you keep your mind right you don't get over it mm -hmm. but um try to keep yourself busy and for sure for sure always keep faith mm -hmm. let your faith like talk to God whenever it's your good times bad times when you just feel like you need to talk and vent is you always go to god first for sure heck yeah praise miss sunday too Even yeah it's gonna be on tuesday but yeah no for sure y'all and then with me like you need those people to talk to like who you got like when you get those difficult times when you can't you ain't just talking to god like but you gotta have that conversation with such and such to you know saying get you back right who, um who you calling just two people i would say my cousin jasmine and q mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. They the only ones I don't care about listening to me cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't care about them hearing me sad or hearing me cry and upset. Like, mm -hmm. cause it's like I need somebody to talk to. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. Now speaking of crying, when last time you cried, it didn't. It didn't have to do with death. Oh, I don't be crying. So ain't shit. Don't, ain't no movie and nothing made you cry. No, I just be sitting there high. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be crying about it though. <laughs> so, yeah, so you just you. But big, I have you, you like my, stuff. Yeah, I don't cry at all. I cry like when I think about my brother, mm -hmm. and it happens randomly now. Mm -hmm. But I be feeling it coming, you know. But it's nothing you can control. For sure. Have Have a man have a uh, fake cry or cry to keep you from leaving him? Yeah. How'd that go? I took him back. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> took his head back. Work, huh? <laughs> yep. How, now after that happened, like I'm how like, did, oh, he crying, poo poo. Yeah, that's what. I'm, <laughs> see, and then now you feel like an asshole when you fake crying and shit don't work. And then they still leave your dumb ass. Now yeah. you didn't cry. Now you a pussy and she left you. <laughs> yeah, but it was like months after that cry, maybe yeah. even years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm good for giving chances. That's my thing. For sure. But that, yeah. see, that's a bad thing sometimes. Yeah, it is. But yeah. I just don't like starting over. Like, it mm-hmm. takes too much time and patience. So I would give you a million chances because shit. <laughs> 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 Some somewhere down the line, I'm gonna be like, "Fuck him." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, staying on the relationship topic, like, how do somebody get your attention as a as a man? Like, get stuff attention. Like, you know, what I'm saying, what do you like about dudes that attract you to them? Flirting. Mm-hmm. I love flirting. Mm-hmm. I will flirt with you back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I will flirt with you back, but yeah, or talk to me. Let me. It's like be more vocal. Be like, "Hey, let's do this. Hey, mm-hmm. let's you know link up to do this." Because if you're just flirting with me, shit, get the fuck on. <laughs> <laughs> you got me some action. Make yeah, some like work. we ain't gonna see each other again. Like yeah. you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you say flirting is what what you really like. Yeah. Like, like as far as like. Like, do you like niggas tall? It's smelling niggas, good. Short niggas? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I love a man with cologne. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about the height? Because you're, you you know what I'm saying, you're a straight person. <laughs> How <laughs> tall am I? Tall. I had say, I guess five one, five foot, five, you know, between, I give five foot and five two. Yeah, I said five two and five three. Yeah, so how tall are you? Five four. Oh, you ain't short then. I just thought you might. I just, you know, say it was quick. See, I didn't get. To really Why your shit. eyes doing that? Doing what? So y'all don't believe I'm five four. I believe you. Okay, yeah, thank you. I believe you a little bit. You know, see, I just look real quick, like, all right, bam. So, so why people say short? Because to me, five four, that's that's average height. So, so thank just you. For, just for clarity, when I said she was small, I was just talking about how small her frame was to be able to stand on that stoop. Oh, okay, I wasn't okay, okay. Talking about your height. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway Yeah okay So correction Yeah so 5'4 So niggas really think 5'4 is short yeah, they, they, Niggas think I'm short period yeah. Like <laughs> When we looked at your picture We uh I showed him the guess We was having He, he thought you was A little motherfucker too uh, He thought you probably Was little I thought he said it. I mean, you're small. I mean, oh. what? she is small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I ain't, I ain't mad. At you. We just that's what our, our assumption was. So I just assumed you were probably short and too. Yeah, I said small. Two. I was talking about in stature, not in height. See, I was talking about both. Yeah, I thought she probably was little as hell. I knew she was so like y'all don't think I'm thick? Slim thick. Oh, yeah, thank sure. you. Yeah, we looked at the pictures. Yeah, for sure, you know. Y'all see me in person? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. But I'm saying like, thick as fuck. We, we kind of seen it. Ain't talking about no, y'all. We seen it beforehand, like we, we, we big gotta, ass girl <laughs> on the set. Why you mad? Like you, you, we thought you thought we you as thought that we thought this. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big booty woody. <laughs> oh shit, dog. I'm to say if you want to go ahead and show the camera. You know, you can do a little twirl, stand up and shit. Y'all want to see? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man. But uh, back to relationships. <laughs> I'm single. Oh, oh, see, I don't even single. Four years. Yeah. So, like, are you looking? Cause you know we got, oh, we got a lot of that watch this. Yeah. yeah, I'm really more so dating. Like, mm. you just gotta be patient with me. Yeah. That's it. Be patient with me, cause if you be patient with me, we good. We Gucci. Yeah. And take me places. <laughs> and answer what I call. That's yeah, it. For sure, for sure. Now, That's a lot. Now, first, first dates. We was talking about this the other day. Like my, uh, we was talking about. I ain't, well, I ain't, I ain't gonna name names and shit. I'm bad at that shit. <laughs> but uh, I was, uh, I asked the question like, is it corny or for a dude to um, take a girl on a date as a pic, with a, pic, a picnic, picnic style? You go to a park. You know what I'm saying? You got the little shit set up, the sandwiches, the the wine, the little blanket and shit. Is that some corny shit to you? No. Okay, see, I thought so. Yeah, that's thoughtful, actually. So yeah. it's like, I'm going to eat that sandwich, and I'm going to also be happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, because at the end of the day, you put thought into it. Yeah. You ain't just say, oh, I'm about to take her to a restaurant. Mm-hmm. So what's a good first date and a bad first date? Bad first date is like being in your phone. Mm-hmm. And good first date is communication. Mm-hmm. Understanding each other. Energy. Yeah. I fuck with energy. What about place while it's like taking you somewhere? Like to me, I think a bad first date is take somebody to the movies. Cause no, like, take me to the gun range. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you try to shoot that motherfucker. Out. No, don't take me there. <laughs> the bitch got PTSD. <laughs> like, Man. 
But um, like movies is bad because you ain't really, really talking and get to know each other. You just I don't talk. like movies though, for real, for real. Mm -hmm. I don't like sitting that long, and I don't like being in the cold. Mm -hmm. Like restaurants, I could do at least once. I'm tired of being there. I could bag my shit up and go. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what I prefer for real is some chill shit. Like yeah. like you said, picnic. At least I could walk off and go in my car if I don't want to yeah, be there sure. no more. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know, shit. Maybe jump in the fucking river. Who now, knows? <laughs> Now the what the fuck? Now the Who first day, the first day, shock you. are y'all are, are driving separate or together? I mean, you can't just leave. You drive together, like honestly. Okay, so I'm a person who like my privacy. I don't really like no people knowing where I live. So mm -hmm. you could pick me up somewhere, and I will get in the car with you, but mm -hmm. it won't be from my house. Mm -hmm. So it's that's a hit or miss. Yeah. It's whatever you want to do for real. Now, can you forgive like, in a relationship? Can you forgive uh, your man for cheating? Yeah. Like do it, man. Like, like how, how? What? What if you walking in? He in your crib and he cheat. Like you forgiving that shit? No. Yeah, I would say he ain't gonna forgive me either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For what the fuck gonna happen next? So you go, so, like cause me, I can't, I can't forget that shit. Like if, if we in a relationship and you cheat on me, no, I can't do it. Cause now every she time we cheat back. No, every, no, see, that's, no, we can't do that shit. No. <laughs> cheat the fuck back. No, I ain't but in the it. house though, that's disrespectful. That's damn. They're like you don't care about me at all. Yeah, no, cheat, no, hell no, I can't do it. Cause then every time we fuck, I'm thinking about the nigga that you fuck. You know, saying why you were cheating and shit. So I can't yeah. do that shit. I ain't gonna think about that. You ain't? Oh, shit, hell no. Mm -mm. I'm gonna think about that shit. Fuck that. Fuck I got you. cheated on shit. Yeah. <laughs> and you was good with it. I ain't gonna say you good with it, but you was with like, it, but I took the nigga back. No, I can't do that Like, shit. you know, shit, I was mad. Had my probably gave that nigga a punishment or whatever. Yeah. Stop talking to him, but I took him back. I guarantee you probably cheated, though, as you as you took him back. Yeah, I did cheat. See? See, that's why I say fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> sure the fuck did. I'm good. <laughs> now, I was on the podcast, um... Uh, Shout out to Illegal Aliens podcast and shit. They were some cool dudes. I'm flat right. That was a long ass drive, but t like we were still talking about like first time and embarrassing moments. Like, what was an embarrassing moment sex wise for you? Like for me, I told him like the shit was so quick it didn't even start. My embarrassing moment. <laughs> like, that shit was quick as hell. I started bleeding. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Knocked my bitch ass apart. <laughs> I started bleeding. I yeah. wasn't even done yet. I'm like, damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Now, did, now, did we start bleeding? Did, did, did y'all stop or y'all like, fuck it? It just ain't, it ain't shit. No, he was like, you bleed. And then I looked at his face. I was like, well, he done. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> He's done. Shit. Shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Start changing shit. Fuck it. What's your good bleed moment? Yeah, but I blamed it on him. <laughs> like, I was like, what you doing in there? <laughs> yeah. So when you young, you might say fuck a period or anything. If you just horny, like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Yeah, I mean, shit, it depends on what day. <laughs> <laughs> if it's the third day, we can thug that shit out together, but... <laughs> Yeah, a little residue. Yeah, if it's one day or two, it's just like my stomach be cramping. Yeah. I don't be. Mm -mm. Yeah, you know when you got that that fourth fifth day, yeah. like you, just a you might residue. not even hear from me that day. Yeah, that's it for you. I'll though. be in pain. Yeah, True yeah, yeah. Pain. Shout out to motherfucking bleeders and shit out there having sex and shit. Y'all niggas crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, run that light. Now, <laughs> now this last thing I'm gonna talk about as far as like bedroom shit, dog. Like. How old were you when Did you feel like you was too young Or too old When you You know what I'm saying Lost your virginity I was middle age mm -hmm. I was 16 mm -hmm. So I was like Yeah I mean shit My son probably gonna be Fucking at 16 Yeah yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Now was it something A conversation you had with moms Or you just went in Like you know no, what I'm saying No I snuck and did it Yeah See, I had a conversation with my mom. Cause my, my pops passed, so I just wanted to know different things just so I can mm -hmm. make sure I'm doing it right. Even though that shit lasted, like, no, no time, but I just wanted to make sure, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm doing it right, everything, like, you know what I'm saying? How should I approach it, all this shit? Because I was nervous. I mean, my mom was so tight, I could ask those type of questions, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, man. My mom, she, we was cool, but she was still, like, mean a little bit, so mm -hmm. I wasn't telling her no shit like that. Yeah. I was still telling her I wasn't fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Line your ass up. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now talk. It's, it's a crazy... Uh, uh, said way, but it's talk about like you know what I'm saying th this year. Uh, I know you stayed in Atlanta for a little bit, you know what I'm saying. Just yeah. talk about the year 2024, uh, goals you had coming into this year, and just you know what I'm saying, some ups and downs for you. 
Goals is for sure August 2nd I will be launching my own show One Truth Two Stories for my podcast For sure um, This year brought me nothing but greatness mm-hmm. um, I pray that I win a lottery this year That's a goal <laughs> Yeah for sure Hell yeah um, Shit, let me get you And out. stop car accidents Like mm-hmm. stop crashing Be more thoughtful on my way of driving When I'm drinking Stop doing that shit I'm mm-hmm. telling y'all right now Don't drink and drive Even though I did it yesterday <laughs> It was somebody in the car with me. She was asleep. <laughs> but she still, still asleep. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> we got there. Dog. But don't do it. Please She's don't like, do it. This motherfucker got me at this podcast. I'm gonna be the yeah, best. and she a singer. For real. Yeah, she a good singer. That's what's up. She, she, she too sleepy to give us a sample right now, dog. She sluggish. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fucked up. And we smoked on our way in here. So oh, so ain't y'all buzz. Yeah. <laughs> that shit ain't do shit But boost our heart from yesterday Yeah yeah so also, no, Don't drink and drive Even though I did yesterday Yeah I'm being honest Cause they gonna see my story So No you was fooling Yeah, yeah. But We made it Hell yeah Praise him Praise we him made Praise it. God <laughs> now, well, now, now you was in Atlanta last year What was going on Like I know you That did, was this year That was this year Yeah So why you leave Why you leave that motherfucker Come back here I wasn't there to live. You wasn't there to live? Oh, shit, I thought you were there I just there. go there a lot. Okay. Yeah, I be there a lot. Um, mm-hmm. That's like my second home for real, but I went out there to shoot some episodes for my um podcast. Okay, okay, okay. So yep. you, you that's never a thought to go ahead and just move out to that motherfucker? No. Hmm. Why not? What's wrong with it? They oh, access is too yeah no not that mm. um they access is too far apart yeah it's like if something happened to me I'm gonna be damn near dead by the time I make it to a hospital <laughs> like it's no way around that yeah hell no nah. and then they had a shit going on just like Michigan do mm-hmm. you know yeah what's some shit you learned about yourself this year that you didn't think you was capable of doing or you could have been shit learned that you were full of shit anything um yeah that. <laughs> But no, um, shit, maturity. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of shit I noticed myself doing, and I be like, yeah, I'm maturing up. For sure. As far as going to work when I be drinking. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get you get you to help. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, I'm quite sure you're a tequila drinker. Cognac too. Oh, for real. Yeah, <laughs> Whatever yeah. I start with, I end with. So if I start with dark, I drink dark. For if sure, I drink white, I drink white. What's the first? What's the first drink you remember drinking? Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Yeah, that was that. Yep. Sh- See, my first shit was Seagram Gin. Why? Cause we was you here. just gin and shit. The yeah, fuck we was up. young. We was young. So we get the secret gin, the the hundred and ten proof. I know you. You was for sure getting a lot of bottles. Yeah, yeah, we used to get a lot of holes off that shit too. <laughs> Bottles. Motherfucker, that shit give you all the confidence in the world. So what we what we do, I remember one particular night, we drinking Seagram Gin, we chasing it with this beer called 211. 211 by itself will get you fucked up. Ooh. And yeah, I ain't never been that drunk in my goddamn life. We was we went to Club Blue that night. And yeah, we was fucked up, boy. Y'all was in the club drunk? Hell yeah. Oh. We stayed drunk in the club. That was the whole thing. Go to the club, shit, get fucked up, pissy drunk. So Just, that's your worst experience you had? No, no, no. My worst experience I had drinking... Damn, it was a couple of the motherfuckers, but it was probably um the night that my uh my boy about to go to jail. That he was going to jail the, the next week, so it was like oh. our last weekend hanging out and shit. Turning up together. Yeah, so this particular night, um, I started off drinking wine with my moms and my uncle and shit. So we drinking like some Moscato and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm smoking weed with them and I ain't a smoker. Oh. Yeah. So then we smoking weed. Chip-chip. So then my my boy come through with the liquor and shit. We drinking. Uh, I think that night we probably had Hennessy. So we going crazy off the Hennessy, drinking the whole bottle of that shit. Then he give me a, a wine, black and mild, so I'm smoking the black now. So then we go inside uh, Kingdom. I did a few laps in that motherfucker. I How long he do? He did about four or five years. Okay. So I did a couple of laps around the club. I couldn't see shit but shoes and heels because I, cause I couldn't look up. And then that's the I know I threw up when I went outside. A little bit, threw up, got on this girl's shoes. She started cussing me out. I kind of ran. <laughs> Then I got the fuck on. That's the thing. I know I'm walking for like three, four miles, and then my mom come pick me up, thank God, took me home and shit. So, yeah, that was a fucked up moment, dog. Yeah. Mine used to be the car accident for sure. So, you were, was you, you were drunk driving? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was your fault. I mean, I didn't hit nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The car, okay, so they said the car hydroplane, which is like the water went under the tires type shit because mm-hmm. it was raining. But honestly, I don't remember mm-hmm. like nothing besides like. Getting out the car for real, mm-hmm. like don't get me out the car. Was you fucked up like injuries and shit? Broke up? 
Yeah, I for sure was sore. Yeah. Majority of my braids was like torn off. Yeah. Um, I had cuts in my head. God damn, you got a picture of that shit? Um, <laughs> shit. What was you at? Like on East West? 94. 94. Oh, you on yeah. freeway? Oh, shit, you a fool. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You a fool. If they got you still here. Shit. Yes. What would you drink that had you, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> you fucked up. Like yeah, cause I was drinking earlier that day. Then I was drinking that night. Then mm. I had linked with my cousin. Drink was drinking. Up. Yeah, it was like I was just drinking. Man, goddamn kids don't drink. Yeah. Don't drink and drive, kids. Do not drink and drive. <laughs> what was your graduating drink? That drink that you feel like, all right, I graduated from eighteen hundred. Now I'm drinking like Hennessy. Oh shit, yeah, Hennessy was a graduation drink. Like yeah, that was the like next thing. Up. Cause eighteen hundred was my move up drink. When I was drinking Sigma Gin, eighteen hundred was like, all right, we next thing. Yeah, next mm -hmm. step and shit, dog. What you fuck with now? Uh, I'm on some bourbon whiskey shit with him. So you know anything bourbon whiskey, I drink that shit. So all that shit right there, you see, you know what I'm saying? That's why I be drinking like shit. Y'all right be there. towed the fuck up, huh? No, I be straight like the Elijah Craig. That shit. <laughs> that's why I have this my birthday. This like a toe up situation. Yeah, the Elijah Craig <laughs> is why I was drinking like you know what I'm saying for my birthday and shit. Ooh. But yeah, like bourbon and whiskey is is just smoother for me. I can't drink cognac no more. I have I think I had brandy. Isn't that like similar to that? No, uh, I don't think so. Brandy just gone yet. Yeah. Oh, so mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah, yeah. sweet. No, it's sweet. Yeah, yeah it's cognac. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't read. Yeah. So I, I drink that shit and Maker's Mark. Like I just, I'm not a drinker that can drink by myself. I'm only, mm -hmm. I'm only drinking when I'm with other people. You know, that's what I'm how I am too. Yeah. I only drink literally Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah, so I just drink when I'm with, with people and shit, but I can never mm. drink by myself. Then yeah. I start feel like a drunk ass nigga. So I can't drink by myself because I have to talk and like be around people when I'm drinking. Mm. Like you know, I'm a smoker for real. Yeah. So I smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my See, I never met somebody who really like smoke and drink at the same time. Like it's just as much as as one. So either I you drink both. a lot, smoke a little, smoke a lot, drink a little. No, I do both, but it's just I only drink occasionally on weekends. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, but you smoke every day. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the smokers. I wish I could do it. <laughs> What's some shit that you uh that you still feel you need to work on? That might be holding you back with life, with whatever. My pride and my attitude. Mm -hmm. What's up with the attitude? Like, why? Why? What? what what's up with that? I don't know. I just be feeling like people demeanor mm -hmm. and the way they come off sometimes be wrong. So. Mm -hmm. I don't like holding stuff in. So mm. if I feel like you doing something to hurt me or antagonize me, I'm telling you right then and there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I mean you you don't give me that whole mean ass vibe. Like I mean I can see yeah, a little bit. Yeah, cuz I'm I'm sweet. I'm the sweetest person you will ever come across. I'm very genuine down to earth, but you have to be doing a lot order for me to be mad. Mm. Like you got to be like I said antagonizing. Mm. Like it ain't just one thing. You got to be constantly doing something and I'll be like, "All right." Mm. I'm about to take it there with you. For sure, for sure. What was your first adult decision that you felt you made? That you like, all right, there ain't no more kid games. I'm I'm grown out here. Get in my house. Yeah. Talk about that. How old was you? Um, 22. Mm hmm And you, you, that's when you said you moved out of Detroit, so you never wanted to stay in Detroit, huh? Mm -hmm. When I moved, um, shit. As soon as I got my house, I end up getting pregnant. Mm -hmm. So it's like <laughs> you know, I'm <laughs> I, it's like as soon as I got my shit. But um, shit, I just never wanted to go back because it's like mm -hmm. I like the environment I'm in. You know, mm -hmm. especially raising my son. Mm -hmm. It's like shit when I come to the city, it's for family and friends. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now back on your son, like um, you say you single. Mm -hmm. So how is like that that relationship with his father? If you don't mind me asking, we good. You know, for, okay, so y'all yeah. got a good co parenting. That's who we with right now. Okay, cool. Because you know you meet a lot of a lot of people, especially that be on this show, that, that they ain't got shit to do with the dad. The dad ain't got shit to do with the kid. All that. Nope, shit. he get him every weekend faithfully. Mm -hmm. He know his days. <laughs> how, how, is, how important is that? They're like co parents and being able to see eye eye when it comes to your son. Um. It means a lot because regardless on if y'all have, you know, bumping heads and not getting along, mm -hmm. him mattering to his son, that's mm -hmm. all I care about. Like, for sure. you care about your baby, that's it. Yeah, we don't yeah, got to yeah. talk about shit for real, honestly, long as you doing what you're supposed to do. Now, real quick question, because I, I, even though I'm a hypocrite about this, I say I can never talk to a girl with a kid, you know what I'm saying, just because I feel like she's still probably fucking the dad. No. So like, how long did it take like for y'all break up to like stop messing with each other on net type of shit? It was it was for me. Okay. Like um, shit, cause we was together throughout my son whole <laughs> all the way until he was three. Mm -hmm. So for the past four years, that's that was my last relationship. Mm -hmm. 
Now, do y'all y'all checking? Like, when do y'all got get the approval of each other when y'all get into a relationship just to make sure your son ain't around no bullshit? He ain't going to talk to no fuck about you no way. <laughs> but I'm going to talk to somebody because I just want to make sure she got kids. If she got kids, as long as you know how to approach my baby, that we good. I don't get it. I'm not fucking them. Yeah. I don't even like them. So it's For like, sure. you know, I just want to see her point of view on how she raised her children and stuff like that because that's what matters to me. Yeah. Now, what about the man that's coming to your life? Do you do he got to be a certain way? Do he got you got to introduce him to son and father like before you make this shit legit? Like, do you got to see how he is with your son i know you're not immediately yeah. like introducing your yeah for sure for sure because my son he he funny acting mm -hmm. like he funny acting as fuck yeah but far as um niggas it's gonna take you a minute to even be around my son because he talk mm -hmm. <laughs> he talk so it's like i gotta wait until i like you for real for real because Mm -hmm. I don't want him to say the wrong yeah, shit. No, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's my mom with Craig. Yeah, I don't want him to say the wrong <laughs> shit. Like, uh, <laughs> cause if you had to tell somebody about yourself, only using a song or an album, what song or album would that be? It's gonna tell me about thick ass stuff. <laughs> oh, we gonna do that. Uh, we gonna do that. Uh, shake that ass, baby. <laughs> <laughs> by D Lo. <laughs> that's what that's tell me about you, huh? <laughs> yeah. Album and all. <laughs> oh, for shit. Oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my shit. Hell no. That no. boy be going. Yeah, I was yeah. talking about booming in the car. Yeah. What um activates the word A? Every time a girl shake ass in the video, I heard, hey, hey, what yep. activates that? What? Hyping her up. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because <laughs> my daughter ever A, I'm beating her ass. <laughs> my, daughter, my daughter been ever A in her life. She been. <laughs> So, no dancing. Yeah, hell no, I ain't, dance. ain't no A in this shit. No, I always wanted that shit because I had a guest on the show before. And I'm like, no a whenever, the, <laughs> whenever them drinks get in, that ass get them going crazy. It's A, A, you hear A all over the place. So, well, That's I, me for sure. That, that, so I, had to, yeah, I heard you last night. <laughs> I hate that though. That's because it seems like every time I get drunk, that's the first thing I do. Like, just let the sun play and let them dance. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it yeah. just be like, I have to say something. You got to say something, smack a little ass. Yep. All that shit, though. <laughs> Definitely smacking their asses. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the A's out there, man. <laughs> what what's something that you wanted to be that you never told nobody? Um, I wanna go back to school to do radiology. Okay, okay, okay. You gonna do that shit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you go to college out of high school? Or you chill? Um, yeah, I did and mm -hmm. I was flunking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes, Real bad. You, sometimes you need that break in between though you just rush to that shit yeah mm -hmm. exactly what was going on and then i went to med school i graduated 2019 mm -hmm. and i actually worked for a cardiologist okay 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 hell yeah let me get dollar <laughs> but uh <laughs> talk about growing up i know like i said earlier you went to joy uh you from joy road yeah uh, i know back in high school you got kicked out of school and shit fighting and shit because you was a fighter and shit dog um i was helping fight it was never my <laughs> fight <laughs> so let's talk about growing up who was in the household and how it was as a young slim not thick but slim stuff in the household <laughs> well i was the oldest okay so um shit i got my way i was spoiled mm -hmm. Um, school wise, shit, I was doing good. Mm -hmm. It just be them cousins. When you go to school with your family, mm -hmm. it's like yeah. See, I never got to experience that. Don't, <laughs> <laughs> don't, cause they throw you all the way off. Like yeah. I'm saying, it was always they fights. Mm -hmm. And you just so ha happen to get involved. No, I was not so happening. I was getting involved. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Now at the crib, who was in that mud? Like mom, I know you said mm -hmm. you got a couple uh, siblings. You oldest of uh, how many? On my mom's side, I'm the oldest of three. Okay, okay, okay. So just talk about who was in the house and shit, and then, you know, what I'm saying like it was mom, grandma, dad. You know, what I'm saying my mom and brothers. Mm -hmm. Um, that's who I live with. Okay, okay. Now, did you, by your mom and dad not being together when you was younger, like did you have a relationship with him? Yeah, I just seen my dad. Okay, so you good? You tight? Y'all tight? We cool, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> we good for sure. Like I know exactly who my dad is, sure. and all my mom kids is by him. Yeah, for sure. So hell yeah. Did you ever uh, wonder why when you was growing up, like why mom and dad wasn't together, or why you know saying couldn't work things out? He yeah. was in jail. Okay, okay, shit, hell yeah. <laughs> Third life. <laughs> <laughs> you want the truth, baby? <laughs> I give you the truth. You, I was doing that shit. 
threw that in there. <laughs> Did you feel like you missed some time with him? Like you feel like that shit could have like changed things? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it definitely could have. Mm -hmm. What you what what you think? It could it could have been a better life growing up or what? You could. You I just felt like our relationship probably could have been better. Mm -hmm. But you know, by him being in jail, he spent a lot of time away from you know society and stuff like that. So. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm grown, I always just felt like personally, mm. he just getting his time back from that he spent, you know, from yeah. the years he lost. For sure, for sure, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, she, at least he's making it right. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? It's never too late, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you in high school, how would you as a student, like, besides fighting and shit, like, I was skipping. <laughs> <laughs> this girl don't do shit right, huh? I was skipping. <laughs> I was <laughs> skipping. That's how I got tossed out the first one. But uh, <laughs> I was skipping, you know. Yeah. Um, but grade shit. I wasn't... My grades, I was good. Mm -hmm. It's just I was skipping. Yeah, was I had an older boyfriend, so... How old are you? Let's talk about that real quick. Shit, back then... Okay, so my first boyfriend, he... He like... How old is he? <laughs> He in his thirties already. I know that. Okay. So he. So, so back then, like, what was the age gap when you was in high school? Like, uh, how old was I when I was dating him? Mm -hmm. You was in high school. Shit, fourteen, and he was not even in school. Yeah. So, he, he, so he was, he was too old to be fucking with you. <laughs> he wasn't too old to be fucking with me because he is like in his thirties. I do know that. Mm -hmm. I just don't know exactly yeah, 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 how yeah. far gone in his thirties he is. But he wasn't in school. Period. Like oh, that's yeah. just was his life. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you step out here was wild and boy trying to get her old nigga out here skipping and shit fighting. You were drinking. <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> With my cousins. <laughs> yeah. So now, like the shit, that, and that's cool, cause we all been through some shit. But now, are you making sure you on your son head, cause you know the shit that you was doing? Hell yeah, I hawk him. Mm hmm I'm very protective of my baby. Anybody will tell you? Yeah. Because he, who I I hawk him. Yeah. Cause with my oldest son, you know, he had told me, you know, saying he did a little something, something. I ain't gonna say what it was, but he did a little something, something. So I had a conversation with him. I'm like, listen, bro, women always gonna be there. You can yeah. chill. You can chill. Trust me, because once you once you get to that life, it's gonna be it's, it's, it's gonna be a continuation of different, you know, what I'm saying women, mm -hmm. bullshit, drama. Like, stay as, as free as you can. Then once you, you know, what I'm saying once it happens, it happens. I never thought in my life. Don't stay free from the women. You can chill from the women. You can chill. Focus on your sports. Focus on your school. The women gonna be there though. Trust me. You got a long. They can be life. there to support him. Hell no. <laughs> they can be there to bring your ass down too. <laughs> Man. So I, I, and I never thought growing up that I would tell my son like you know what I'm saying it's, it's okay to wait you know what I'm saying for the for the girls and shit it's okay yeah. like because a lot of times you get pressure like how I was in high school like your boys telling you you're having sex when they probably really ain't having sex and now mm -hmm. you feel like you pressured to go ahead and start fucking but you really ain't ready like I don't feel like sex is a pressure thing just because other people doing it mm -hmm. I shit. feel like you do it because you want to yeah I mean it was a little bit of both for me like I'm seeing my niggas do it and I feel like I should be doing it and I want to get that motherfucker taste. See, so it's exactly. Like, you wanted to yeah, do it for yourself. Yeah, but it's a combination of both, though. Because then you start feeling like if my niggas ain't telling about they having sex, I'm not really thinking about it as much. But now I feel like it's a competition thing. Like damn, they fucking way more than me. So what was <laughs> first, either the thought of the friends or was it? I thought about having sex at like ten years old. I thought about that shit Like you know what I'm saying Like you think about sex Cause you seeing this shit Like I'm, I'm That's why you telling him To stay away from the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Like you thinking about sex For sure Like I'm thinking about it. I'm seeing little My uncle little porno shit You know what I'm saying Like damn What'd that be like You know what I'm saying But it's like Straight into the coochie. Actually trying to go Not trying to play with yourself yeah. or nothing. <laughs> just, oh, no, I was yanking. I was yanking. Straight, I was, like, all right, <laughs> I see the enough videos. So it's time to do this. Oh, no, I was a yank machine. <laughs> I was a yanker, boy. I was a, I was a pro yank. Like, I remember getting caught by my mom's boyfriend. That was embarrassing as hell. Oh, you no. was yanking. Yeah, I was on a bathtub just going crazy. <laughs> I nigga walked in. Shout out to my dog Earl. Your birthday was the other day, dog. <laughs> I nigga walked in on me and looked. I stood him like I was peeing and shit. <laughs> And then that nigga went back in the room and shit. I'm like, we never talked about it either. But he I know he, I was acting like I was peeing. I know he told my mama, like, this nigga showers and that bitch beating his meat. Like, <laughs> Why you thought you was <laughs> tricking him? <laughs> he was already telling. I know he did. I know he did. Nobody never brought it up. He probably told my mom not to tell, say nothing. Have you ever got caught, uh, you know what I'm saying, messing with yourself or somebody? Shit, we always talk no. about this with dudes. Yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. Never. Yeah. <laughs> so when you sex with dudes like is toys involved like you, you know what I'm saying like cause I, I be hearing niggas saying shit I'm bringing that rose to the bed with me yeah that dude work wonders yeah <laughs> cause sometimes the guys can't get all the angles <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that rose help, you know. It's yeah. just a little, you know. But now I'm talking to my son. Like, are you gonna be? Like, is, is you and your um your son dad uh, y'all gonna double team him when y'all talking to him about it? Or is like you gonna leave it all up to him? They gonna talk. They is really close. Like yeah. I'm saying, like you might want to have some involvement in talking too. I can't tell him how I feel Shit. to fuck a girl. But you could, you could tell him what to expect though. He need to tell him since he involved in his life. <laughs> you sure. know, nah. I'm gonna tell him like how it is on a woman's perspective. Like if her nails dirty, she probably don't wash her ass for real. I mean, no, that's a fact. <laughs> yeah, you gotta look at that shit. Like yeah. I'm gonna tell him, you know, certain stuff. If her panties crusty, she mm -hmm. got some, son. Yeah. <laughs> If, if, if you put them drawers down They smell them Yeah Don't hit And the only thing I could tell them That we could both tell them Is use condoms Protection yeah, For sure For sure Definitely do that Cause like I said We talked about that shit Once you stop using condoms You ain't gonna never Want to put them bitches back on Yep Once you get that feeling <laughs> Ain't no feeling like it <laughs> No, nah, niggas be wanting To take the condom off Yeah They yeah. be like Girl See I ain't gonna sneak it off Without you knowing Either you gonna go in Without it Or you go They be ready two. A walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they be like, shit, you just do the plan B. No, how about you just put the bitch on? <laughs> no, that's funny as hell, though. <laughs> and nobody, if I'm in a relationship, you better not tell me after we in fuck raw for a couple times to put a condom on now. Yeah, that's not, different. Yeah, fuck that. You crazy? <laughs> yeah, that don't even sound right. Why would I tell you to use a condom when we have a man fuck him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, talk about the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you say you want to start back in August. Uh, one truth, two stories. No, I'm launching in August. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, shit, correct me, correct me. Shit, fuck me. But uh, talk about that. Like, you know, what I'm saying what what is it about the conversation y'all having? Just just break it down for me. So it's about bringing up upcoming artists, mm -hmm. um, giving light to brands, mm -hmm. um, anybody personal business owners, um, giving resources to the community, mm -hmm. and you know. Doing promotion for like parties and stuff. Yeah. Now I hear the the, the title. It just it tell me something like you know what I'm saying like y'all talk about some you know what I'm saying some lies, some stories, some truths like. Yeah. Every guest. Mm -hmm. So who uh now you did a couple of, um in Atlanta. Yeah. Who was the guest that you had? I had the producer. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. one was my cousin. I know you supposed to have somebody cousin, somebody yeah. an artist cousin that didn't show up or some shit. Yeah. It was um Erica Banks. Okay. 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 It was actually her best friend. Yeah. That shit fuck you up Like damn I'm already Getting niggas to, to, to flake out on me No Because it ain't like I ran into her Unexpectedly I ran mm -hmm. into her At a daytime party mm -hmm. And then You know I asked her on that I told her like Who I was And why I was out there mm -hmm. You know We exchanged Instagrams I hit her up She had to work So it was never like You know She spent me or none You know Cause she was keeping me updated She let me know She couldn't make it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now do you got questions Already like Pre-written Or you kind of like Going off the, off the head With the freestyle shit like Yeah I go off like just mainly like the person vibe they demeanor because mm -hmm. it tells you a lot like they don't mind talk about certain things mm -hmm. and you know you will understand their energy yeah. now if you had to if you was like right now if you were sitting down with me and my producer what be one thing you want to know why don't y'all go out no more <laughs> uh, i was just retired from that life man i did that shit so many times so many years it just ain't fun to me no more it used to be fun, like, just go out there, because my thing is, you go out there trying to see, you know what I'm saying, who you can, you know, maybe take back home, or, you know That's saying? a question to the audience. What mm. age you feel like you will be done actually partying? Yeah. Yeah, with me, yeah. So, my age was 26. You stopped partying at 26? Mm hmm You were old, so. <laughs> it's just, I was just chilling. What you got to say? Shit, he was done at probably that age, too, probably. 26? Because you got to think, we, uh. Oh. Probably around 30. 30. See, now, I'm oh. not completely you know what I'm saying gone, gone from the life of, but I'm not like happy about going out like oh this weekend I'm going to such and such but like yeah. if the homies like like we say off camera if they talking about going to a cigar bar or something alright bet I'll meet you there or if my cousin talking about going to a bar real quick I'll meet you there now if anybody yeah, say going party. to a club I will not meet you there I will never set foot in a club ever in my life the clubs be lit I bet I do and you can go late <laughs> Yeah, huh? You could go late. You could stay like an hour. Oh, cool. And then I felt old when I saw my little brother, his homies in the club. Like, oh hell no! Nah. I I laughed at the niggas that was in their thirties in the club when I was when I was young. So I like I'll never be that person. Oh, I'm that person because my <laughs> little brother just was hanging out with us last night. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool. I'm chill. He be at all the I'm parties. Chill. But in no, the it's, club. it's not like a. It's like I I will go out. And chill every once in a while, but it's not like an every weekend thing like it used to be. Like that shit was done for me at like twenty six, twenty seven. See, I'm a mom mm -hmm. and I work mm -hmm. throughout the whole week. So when I do get my kid free days, mm -hmm. I use them. Yeah. 
Yeah, see, <laughs> now, see, fun for me. I would rather um, fun for me is just hanging. My uncle, my aunt. My cousins, like, we go mm -hmm. to somebody's crib, but there's no other spot, and then we just go get food, get liquor, mm -hmm. play music, talk shit. I fuck with them type of yeah, vibes, too. The, like, I do shit, like, today. Like, yesterday we went out. Mm -hmm. Today we'll be on some shit like that. That's mm -hmm. what we do before our kids come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. So that's why I like, I, that's my weekend. If we can do that shit every weekend, then I'm good. Mm -hmm. But, like, running to a club, like, I just, I just can't do it. I don't. I'm not mad at nobody for doing it. Yeah. I just don't feel like doing it because I'm tired. I'm and then honestly, we don't even go out every weekend to clubs, do we? <laughs> like, we don't even go out to the club every weekend. It got to be something going on or something we interested in to mm -hmm. want to, you know, participate in. Mm -hmm. Now, who do you want this, this first guest to be when you launch? Are you doing it solo? Are you doing it with somebody, uh, one of the homies? Like... Y'all gotta tune in to see, yeah. but I do got a special guest for sure. Now, are you prepared for like if somebody spin you to just keep going with the show and, and do your own shit? Hell no, I paid them. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna be paying niggas? No, I paid that guest. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like shit, to come I, on there. Now, yeah. What about the venue? Like, do you got a certain spot that you're gonna be recording at? Like. Yeah, probably in Southfield. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Shit, I know a lot of people. So you probably messing with the same people that he knows some shit. Yeah, that's my thing. I'm trying to order out a suite. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Get yep. my own suite because I'm not just going to be doing podcasts and I'm going to, you know, book it for people who want to do their own episodes and stuff. Make money. Mm -hmm. It's going to yeah. be an investment. No, nah, for sure. Hell yeah. Got to. Got to. Yep. Like, what's some shit that attracts you to watching a podcast or uh, keep you, you know what I'm saying, tuned in as a, as a you know what I'm saying, as a, as a viewer? What do you like to see? Or do you even watch other podcast shows? Yes, I do, actually. And um, not as much as the twins. I got to say that because... <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a conversation about that with them before too. Like they listen to podcasts, they don't listen to music in a car. I, I'm kind of like that too a little bit. You listen to podcasts in a I, car? It's a, it's a it's a balance. For the most part, it's a lot of trash ass music out anyway. So I rather listen to a conversation now. I rather listen. Who are your favorite artists? Uh, well, if you want to go Kendrick Cole, okay. um, I fuck with like on some new shit. Um. Man, what new niggas I fuck with? I don't know. I fuck with Twenty One. I fuck with Payroll. Uh, Payroll, the best rapper in Detroit to me. Like, I, I, nah, I ain't saying no shit. Yeah, Payroll, the best rapper in Detroit. I'ma just say this though. <laughs> yeah, I fuck. I, I fuck with it's the a, first two artists that you named. That shows why you listen to podcasts in the car. Oh my god, you <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> but see, you, you, I can't believe you a fan of NBA Young Boy. I fuck with NBA Young Boy. Yeah, to me, I don't get, I don't get that. You don't listen to his music? Hell no. Nah. What? Hell no. Nah. Fuck no. Nah. I be that's like That's like the, the little girls who I coach be listening to. What's that one fat nigga who always be crying? Be talking about his life is, is good. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's depressing music. Why you gonna say he always be crying? <laughs> Man, I shut the fuck up, cuz. But no, like, Cole and Kendrick, like, all right, I got my turn up music. Then I like my nigga Larry Jones. So who your turn up music? Shit, 21. And you don't like NBA Young Boy? Hell no. Nah. Twenty One Savage. Y'all really be having no music for real? Shit, he can rap for real. NBA Young Boy too. Nah, I don't fuck with him. He, he, a, he talented. He is a talented. I artist. know he kind of weird though. Me, he, weird he is me. weird, but the music just don't don't. I don't go. I, I don't get with it. I like songs you can actually listen to vocally. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I fuck with Sexy Red, but she's not the best. Oh hell no! I'm she's fucking. not the best artist. Now, if it's to me. come to the, to the females, but her songs are catchy. Yeah, I like Big Glow. Glow. Yeah, she she hard as motherfucker though. She's <laughs> sweet too. Look, they ain't gonna never come on my shit. <laughs> but she <laughs> she's sweet too. But it's like her accent is just so I love that shit, thick. Though. Like, yeah, but I fuck with her songs. Like she gets you turned. Lotto, I ain't gonna lie. Lotto is and Cardi. Of course, Nikki. I fuck with Nikki too. I know, but them they music mm -hmm. is like lyrically you can understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe you said that. You see why I listen to podcasts because I listen to Kendrick and Cole. Yeah, you went to niggas. them. Hell yeah, like, like, you ain't even named them four or five. You was like no, one, that's two. Dis <laughs> that's disrespectful to name them four or five. Kendrick Cole. That's it. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no four or five. It's just Kendrick has he got some old, he got some shit going on with Drake. Hell yeah, yeah, fuck Drake. <laughs> I never liked Drake. Well, I, I, I used to like Drake until a certain point. Then it's like, oh man, I'm off you, dog. <laughs> like I like early Drake, like when like Cause that's cause cringy. <laughs> you like, but it's like no. It, it, before that, like, I used to have arguments with niggas all the time about how like I just don't rock with Drake music for real. Like at, at a certain point after that one album he had, um, what? 
the, I feel like Drake is more shit. of a f- No, I ain't saying that. I mean, he just he do what he he do what he's supposed to do. He make music for the masses. You know what I'm saying? He going to have everybody come from women, white, black, He's dude. a feature artist to me though. I like, won't say all he, that. I feel like he sound better on features. I, he make good music. I'm not like one of them niggas who don't like him and say he trash. I don't listen to all his songs, yeah. and the songs I do listen to, it be like crybaby songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it just be like, shit. But yeah, I like that. But as far as podcasts, I listen to um, all type of podcasts. I give you a chance. Like there's a lot of people in the city that got shows. I give it a chance and see. But in the where car, coming from? Yeah, for sure. The Hell whole yeah. route. Yeah. No. Me and my producer was just talking about this the other day. Sometimes I might not Why, turn shit on. Had commercial breaks. Sometimes I might not turn shit on. <laughs> Sometimes I might just drive and just think. With nothing. Yeah. I mean, shit. I never did that either. Yeah, like if if, if it's something heavy on my mind, sometimes I go in the car and just start that bitch up and just ride. And then I'll be so in tune to what I'm thinking about. Shit, I'm at the crib by the time I'll be riding, yeah. smoking, <laughs> thinking about it with the music on. No, <laughs> but no, for sure, as like. Uh, a creator and a podcaster like you want to I just love conversations and then I get yeah, ideas I, do I don't steal it but I get ideas from something that, that they might have said like alright man I remissed it my way and then mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying take that shit myself no I feel you though yeah it's always a podcast that you listen to that you that you fuck with heavy um like it could be like not even locally just like mainstream you know what I'm saying cause I fuck with and I ain't like the hate that you did on my nigga Joe that was my boy. You was hating my nigga Joe Budden. That nigga, the, the I can't stand his man, ass. You, you wild person. That's my nigga. I knew this. That what? He's three. As a podcaster, he's number one. Fuck. Like <laughs> <laughs> to me, I've been listening to his podcast forever. Like to me, I he, he got the best podcast. Something you was so intelligent, sir. <laughs> <laughs> like like Joe Budden. Mature. Like I love, and I love how he just adapt to. Losing Bullshit. motherfuckers, and, but the one thing I will say is he fucks up relationships. He, that's what I was saying. Yeah, he fucks up relationships. What's wrong? And I'm a woman, so yeah. not just that though. I feel like he rude. He's uh-huh. very rude. Like mm-hmm. he's rude. I I seen him on the show. Like he was mm-hmm. on Love and Hip Hop. So I seen the person he was even before, and he didn't change. Yeah. Like he's very humble. See, I never Don't get that. me wrong. He's humble, and I feel like he respect the people he wants to respect. Mm-hmm. But if you bring in somebody on your show, you supposed to respect anybody who came to you know mm-hmm. your show at all. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree that he respect who he want to respect. I agree with that part. But I just think like Charlamagne, he's a jackass. Charlamagne, that's my that's my dog too. I fuck with Charlamagne heavy. He's a jackass. <laughs> he's better. He's better than what he used to be. He's rude. Yeah. I don't, see, my thing is you can't. I don't think that's rude. I just think them sometimes they just tell tell how he is or they tell the truth. They tell what yeah. you, they talk about what you really want to talk about. That niggas be afraid to like say or ask like questions like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but it's like that's what I mean by you go off a person energy and stuff mm-hmm. like that because that can bring you could bring something up out of them that mm-hmm. you know might intentionally hurt their feelings mm-hmm. or might trigger something. You yeah. know. But I don't think them motherfuckers, them two motherfuckers, don't and he fuck break up no homes like <laughs> you don't let her. Who break up homes? Joe. <laughs> He oh. break up homes. Oh no, oh, no. He just that. come knocking at the door. <laughs> Joe, my he nigga, ready. Man. He I like, fuck. yeah. And I seen um twenty twenty. You was fucking old. Like damn, this what we man, about to talk about. I fuck good Joe, man. I fuck good Joe. So uh, I'm not. So you say you did. You, you trying to get artists? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, Upcoming artists. Long as you got something going on, that's they can come on your show, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You any just, business, any brands, anything. Yeah. If you want to support yourself, come on there. <laughs> for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Shit, I might, you know saying, pop up and shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, don't don't tell me that. <laughs> no, for sure. You for sure got to return a favor. Man, we'll see. <laughs> come on there, because I got some shit to say to you. Go ahead. <laughs> Man, I, I'm always ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have some shit to say lined up. I'm going to have my phone just like that, too. Hell yeah, that's how you got to be. Ready. I'll be. You know what I'm saying? First question. <laughs> Shit, Man. I'm starting off wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for anything. All right, you know what I'm saying? What's some shit that you hate? You you have to deal with with being a creator. Like, do you hate you have to deal with niggas trying to talk to you? What? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Like I deal with that a lot, yeah. even in a modeling. Cause you didn't mention I was a model. I was gonna mention that. Come but, on, I'm I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a pro with this. I was definitely yeah, gonna mention it. It's that. like people they uh, you know offer to do business with you, and then it went from business to all of a sudden like. They 
hit you up on a different type of time it's like mm-hmm. this now we're working yeah like i'm working you know i understand like i'm attractive mm-hmm. but it's business mm-hmm. always business first yeah i, I definitely i'm gonna do the model shit like a real model versus just somebody who take pictures on ig i was gonna ask that <laughs> like, so, like, watch, watch. I Come on, my shit. Come no, on, my I, shit. I asked because shout out to my to my dog, uh, uh, Britt. <laughs> Britt is a plus size model. Shout out to her. I asked her the same thing. Like, is there a difference? Be- can you? Because it's like, all right, say I'm a rapper mm-hmm. and I post a song on Instagram, but I never posted. I don't got shit on YouTube. I ain't got shit on Spotify. Title. You you know what I'm saying? So yeah. is there a difference between a real model and then just somebody who posts pictures on IG and say they model? Well, it's really no difference mm-hmm. because that's a part of business too. So if you put in modeling in your bio, mm-hmm. somebody who do photos going to hit you up because, mm-hmm. you know, it's a business thing. So it's okay. like, you know, they're going to want to hit you up because you promoting them as well. Mm-hmm. So it's not really a difference because models get brands, mm-hmm. you know, and they pick up like people who want to, you know, yeah. fuck with them for real. But. Instagram model shit. A bitch can post a picture and look cute, car yeah. herself a model. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and I'm saying, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it can't be that easy. Like, yes, it is. Shit, me and my producer gonna be like, shit, model. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Put it in your bio. I ain't in shape at all. Got titties out, like, model. Oh, well. Stomach all out. Model the fucking brands. Man. And just tag it. Like, Man. tag everything you got on. That's modeling. Man. They might hit you up. How, how do you, like, so like with that, how do you make money or generate money from that? Just like you said, linking up with these other motherfuckers. Yep. Yeah, cause we saw some of your modeling pictures. It was you know, we saw some shit. But uh, what you about to say <laughs> about the shit? Oh no, we saw some shit. You know what I'm saying? We it caught mm-hmm. our eye, caught our attention. All right. <laughs> Is the girl model or model? I don't know. Model, model. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. B- both. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, both, both. So, what's some shit that you want to go on with that? Do you want to continue on with this? You want to, me you know no, what I'm saying? My, um, no, my goal is podcasting for sure, for sure. For sure. Uh, modeling, I do it. I fuck with it too, but mm-hmm. it's like, you got to have patience. Because mm-hmm. it's like, you got to do all them poses. You got the camera in your face, all that shit. What was your rap name when you wanted to be a rapper? Never wanted to be a rapper. I feel like you did. Never. Never, huh? It's the tattoos. Never talk about it. No, I just, you know, everybody, I feel like everybody I'm had, trying to tell you I don't got no rhymes. Oh, I'm about to say, I feel like everybody <laughs> in point A life wrote a bar or something. When I'm high and I be playing <laughs> around, like. <laughs> nothing for real, huh? Yeah, nothing for real. Mm-hmm. Not even singing. <laughs> um, is, is it something that you want to start that you never, you know what I'm saying, even have, is it something that you want to start new that you never thought about or never did? Like outside this podcast and modeling, creating, is there anything else that you want to start up? Yeah. Real estate. Real estate. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I want all the yeah, yeah. sources for income, investments. That's all I need. Mm-hmm. When it's all said and done, how do you want to be remembered? Thick ass stuff. How you want to be remembered? I don't know why I had to point at you and shit, but. <laughs> Yeah, um, how I want to be remembered, a genuine, fine-ass individual. <laughs> <laughs> fine-ass bitch for the way. No, <laughs> now, when, I'm glad you said that West Side just popped in my head. A lot of East Side dudes, I'm from the East. And we always tend Y'all to... Y'all be giving up chicken, though. I yeah. fuck with the East Side niggas. <laughs> we tend to mess with West Side chicks more than... Why y'all own. like our... I don't know. It's something... Because, okay... With the West Side chicks, they dress can be, better. They, they can be hoes, but they be like, you want, you can't tell they a hoe. With East Side chick, you kind of, I, I hate saying that. That's now. I'm because they dress shit. shitty. I ain't gonna say all that though. And speaking of the East Side, I think that's um, what's oh, I keep turning my head that way. But that's where the uh clip came from. Mm-hmm. So you seen that over here too? What's that? About oh, the shoe? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was right here on Seven Mile uh, in Grasher area. Yeah, it was. It was. No, it was like twenty niggas who got shot at a black party, and twenty yeah. and two of them died. Yeah, but that shit happened on Westside all the time. I was surprised to say Eastside. Y'all niggas always that shoot be niggas. happening on the Westside. Yes, side. no, we enjoyed the block party. I guarantee you, you go to crime <laughs> in the day. Out of the out of ten, eight of the crimes is gonna be from the Westside. That's a that's a fact. That is a, a guarantee. Shit, fact. it ain't gonna it ain't gonna blow y'all to any yeah. people getting yeah. shot yeah. out the y'all, water. Y'all, y'all that love, happened one day or one y'all, hour. Y'all love killing these at the gas stations. Y'all no, look. they just be taking their cars. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> They'll be really they necessary. Westside, that crime is crazy. Like, but no, do y'all, <laughs> how is it for y'all? Because we tend to gravitate towards Westside women. What about Westside girls? Do y'all gravitate we like towards East Side niggas? Okay, I for sure love me an East Side nigga. Yeah, I feel like most Westside niggas do too much. 
they lie too much. But they do too much y'all to impress y'all. We come, we gonna impress y'all with whatever fuck we got on, however it is. Yeah, no they all gonna actually spend that shit. Westside yeah. niggas, they'll talk your ear off. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> do you feel like a nigga got to spend money to be able to get some get some ass? Like, do you feel like it's a must? Like, you got to spend money? You got to invest in it? Invest in it? No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> if a bitch like you, she just like you, you know? Yeah. But it's like, nigga don't come asking me about my body. <laughs> yeah. So when we look at women... We can be like, damn, I would love to smash that shit. Like, well, do y'all look at niggas like y'all know? Do you? Uh, yep. I'm giving the ass up as yep. soon as he ass. As soon as he ass, I'm doing it. Shit, I might ask. <laughs> 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 Fuck him asking. I'll ask you first. <laughs> shit, I'll be like, damn, fine ass nigga. <laughs> Come over. <laughs> Come over my house. <laughs> oh shit, man. Fuck as hell, dog. <laughs> What's some young nigga shit versus some shit you been through? What's some shit that you thought of? As a younger that you don't think like now, cause you know you about to be thirty. <laughs> shit, what's some shit? Cause like I said, like I say, every time I say as a younger, I say I'll never eat pussy, and then when I got older, I was like, shit, let me get, let me get that. You weren't you, at seventeen. You had a fucking seventeen, sixteen. When when this nigga telling me about eating pussy, I'm like, nigga, hell no, you crazy. You was not eating at sixteen, seventeen. First off, I barely was fucking. <laughs> so I sure wasn't eating no pussy. Not barely. You started at 10. Mm. I wanted that 10. <laughs> Don't put uh, that out there. I wanted the pussy at 10. Like, woo. I thought about sex at 10. No, I ain't. Um, the first time I got something, I was 18. I was old. But some shit, like, as a youngin that I'm doing now. No, some shit that you don't believe in. Like, oh, it, it, I definitely don't believe in eating no ass. No, 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 no. That won't be it. <laughs> that would never cross my mind. <laughs> Shitty ass booty. We were talking about that shit too. Huh? Yeah, you would never. No, no. I'm not even about to whiff that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what I'll say was something that you believed in at 18 that you look at that like, hell no. Why was I thinking like that? So at 18, you was thinking this, and at 30, you like, man, fuck no. I'm not doing none of that shit. But you was going to do it at 18, though. Honestly, I don't have no response to that because mm-hmm. the shit I was doing at 18, I am doing it. Even your thought, even I like, thought wise, like shit you was thinking about, you know what I'm saying? No. Nah. Because at 18, I was thinking about some this dumb shit. Like, I wasn't fucking a lot of niggas. Yeah. So it's like, I couldn't change that process of thought. For I sure. mean, I was still smoking, drinking, going out. Mm-hmm. She said, I ain't eating no ass. You definitely want to be whooping ass. See, I don't understand niggas who, who allow a woman to eat their ass because I'm not. That's, it's that's, just like, why is that pleasure? Yeah. How did it g- even happen for you to know you like that? Yeah, because I'm going to feel like less of a man letting a woman just go crazy in my butt. Like it's just I just can't have that happen ugh, dog. Like, it's I, just like You ugh. wet, it's wet. You that but and then you start enjoying it a little too much. You got your like do you have your butt tooted? Like do you lay flat? Like I don't How understand. do you that's what I'm saying. How did you even <laughs> come across to <laughs> be like I'm about to eat this nigga ass? And you on all foes, like you gotta feel like a fool, like Bro. I don't know what ugh. many way you can get your ass ate, like the nigga on like, all fours in front of me. I'm kicking his ass right <laughs> off the bed. Bitch, get up. <laughs> what the fuck is you doing? Hell like, no, dude. That's, that, yeah, that's some funny shit. Yeah, shout out to the niggas who getting your ass. Hey, I don't know. Understand how you doing don't it and why you doing it. Shout out to them. But shout Stop out to y'all. Doing that shit. That's different. Y'all some different niggas. Won't y'all booties, y'all groceries, a <laughs> red flag. Yeah, 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 man. What's your advice to someone who want to start something but too afraid to do it or afraid of failing? Consistency. Mm-hmm. Consistency is key. Keep going. No matter you're going to fail and mm-hmm. you're going to fall, but that don't mean that's the end. Mm-hmm. Like, that could be just your first try, your second try, but consistency. Keep doing it until you win. Mm-hmm. Now, making a band, I usually ask these questions as far as, like, if it's a rapper, you're making a band album, like, who you have on your album, you and four other people. But I'm going to ask you, since you about to start your show and back up in August, making a band, you and four other people, to create a dope ass episode, who is who is all four of the people gonna be with you? It could be rappers, singers, women, men, actors, actresses, business owners. But this is gonna be a dope Tasha ass K, big mouth ass episode. Okay, so you Tasha K, Tasha K, <laughs> uh, Joe, because they really go want to see us together. For sure, hell yeah, good, good <laughs> argument, good argument. The whole pop. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Who's very vocal? You got to be somebody that's, like, vocal. I want Krishan on there, too. Okay. Um, Natalie. She vocal. That's it. 
All right. That's your five. That's it. That's 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 your, that's your dope ass. Natalie Long chid ass. <laughs> Hell no, hell no, no. Hell yeah, she probably, probably gonna blow my shit out. I said some shit about her tattoo before. <laughs> she she better not come in there with her hands up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure Detroit different, baby. <laughs> Man, how you wanna be remembered? Like when it's all said and done, how how you want niggas to talk about you? Um, what are they gonna say about you? She a sweetheart. Cause I don't have no exes that's mad at me for real. Like Are everybody, you sure about that? yeah, everybody still reach out to me. They hit me up whenever they feel like talking to me. Mm -hmm. Like, cause it ain't I ain't no bad person by far. Yeah. Like I got my ways. That's for sure. Like I feel like everything's supposed to go my way, but it do. Okay, okay. Now towards the end, we start asking. <laughs> we be asking questions. Too early, too late, or right on time. Having sex. Was it too early, too late, or right on time? Right on time. All right, figuring out life. Too early, too late, or right on time? Right on time. Moving out your parents' house? Too late. First relationship? Too early. First job? Too early. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving a messed up relationship? Too late. <laughs> Finding out Santa Claus wasn't real? Too late. <laughs> Duh. All right. Now we got this other thing we do called what's worse. I give you two things, you tell me which one worse. What's worse? A nigga coming too quick or a nigga can't get up at all? Not getting up at all. That's worse? Yeah. Alright. What's worse? Um a short nigga with long legs or a tall nigga with short arms? Huh? <laughs> A short nigga, <laughs> so you short up here with long legs, or a tall nigga with short arms. I don't got no both of them option. Mm mm. Shit. Probably long legs, cause that look weird. <laughs> what's 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 worse? No car, nice crib, or nice car, no crib. Nice car, no crib. No, for sure, for sure, for sure. What's worse? Yo, yo, uh, your ex cheating, uh, yo, your boyfriend cheating on you with your ex or with your homegirl? My ex. <laughs> you gotta think about that shit one real quick. Yeah, fuck he doing with that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> fuck he doing with him for? <laughs> what, what's worse? A, a rapper with fake designer clothes or fake jewelry? Shit, probably the um, jury. Jury? Hell yeah. Hell, you can get away with the clothes and shit. You yeah. can get away with the clothes and shit. What's worse, finding out your man's cheating on you through text or in action? Mm, action. Yeah, yeah. Have you, you, have, you never had no shit like that before, have you? Yeah. Oh, shit. What'd you do? Shit, tried to beat both of their ass. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what happened. <laughs> What's worse, getting stabbed to death or getting shot? Stab to death. Hell yeah. You, ah, you, going you keep shit. going and it's like you ain't even dead yet. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell shit. yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, damn, I forgot my all my worst worse. All my worst worse. What's worse? Uh, with, with, with you. What's worse? Uh, pussy dry up on them? <laughs> Nothing. That <laughs> ain't happen. It ain't happen? <laughs> that ain't happen. It ain't never happen? Choose a different one. <laughs> Shit. Me just I can tell you Me going to sleep Having somebody come All the way to my house mm -hmm. You yeah. said you going to sleep? Yeah I did Oh okay <laughs> So a nigga got there You was knocked out I was asleep Man have a nigga ever slept Fell asleep on you Doing the performance? Cause somebody down here have Really? <laughs> maybe, maybe you say that <laughs> Nah yeah, come on, my nigga. Come on, nigga. My, shout out to my nigga. Uh, I ain't gonna say his name, but yeah, he's he got. He, he was so high, so drunk that the girl was giving him head, and he he just went to sleep. He was he shouldn't have been that high. Yeah, but I would have been waking him up, tapping that leg. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> we got I, business to handle. All right, all right, all right. Top three. Give me your top three childhood crushes. Celebrity, not not. Demarcus. Oh, cause I was about to not say. Not Tyrone, Terrell. Oh, my crushes. Ah. Celebrities, right? Mm -hmm. Back when you, then, when you was there, when you was a youngin. Um, Bow Wow. Uh, who else I like? I used to love the game. The game. Yes. Yeah. And then who else I used to like? Um, Lloyd. I Lloyd. Used to like Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, my dad, Lloyd was uh, he made some good music, dog. He was fine too. Yeah, coming from the south side. I wish mm -hmm. I could sing, dog. <laughs> Give me your top three high snacks. 
Huh? High. Your high, when you get high, mm -hmm. what you snacking on? Your top three. Oh, high snacks. Yeah, your top three snacks when you get high. Ice cream. What kind of? Um, Jolly Ranchers, popsicles. Oh shit. Okay. Um, chips. What kind? I mix them, so I do the hot fries with the hot Cheetos, and then the white cheddar um, popcorn. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's some hot shit, right? There. Yep. All right. Was it was the and turtles? My favorite chocolate. Okay. Hey, that's like that's old people with candy. Ain't it? About to be thirty, but. <laughs> For shit. everybody, I'm talking shit because I'm listening and tuned in. <laughs> the nigga is 38. I know. I'm if y'all was ever wondering, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling shit. you how old he is. I'm talking shit. Give me your top three foods. I love chicken, mm -hmm. steak, mm -hmm. and ribs, beef ribs. Okay, what's your go-to meal if you're trying to press the uh, press a dude? What you cooking? Can you cook? Yeah, I can I mean, cook. I'm just spare. Well, you know, it's like I do. I probably do like a soul food dinner because mm -hmm. you can't go wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've, your story the other day. Y'all was cooking up some shit. I want. Some, I wanted to play this shit. Y'all should. Yeah. You should brought me a plate. I did everything. Oh yeah. I'm Besides the sausages and the uh, chicken, my mama put them on the grill. Everything okay. else I did. Oh, it was you. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Come through and get a plate. Shit. God damn it. Yeah. Give me your uh, <laughs> your top three movies. Hood movies. Uh, Minister Society. Oh shit. You a good person already. Um, Boys in the Hood. And Friday. Friday. Love Friday. Now give me your order. Which one you like them better? One, two, and three. Give me your order. From Friday? Yeah. Uh, of course the original. That's one. Yeah. Shit, one, two, and three. Just like yep. how it is. That's how I said it. You lame ass nigga, dog. <laughs> what did he say? He said one, three, two. Oh. Alright, give me your top three T V shows. Um Baddies. <laughs> 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 Baddies, <laughs> uh, now that's TV. Mm -hmm. Shit, that's what I be watching for real. Mm -hmm. Just like reality shows. Oh yeah, yeah. I never seen, so Baddies is a reality show. It's supposed to be, yeah, but they be oh. getting them to fight. Okay, okay. I never we seen know that. that. Okay, okay, okay. We just like it. Last <laughs> one I'm gonna ask you. Give me your top three moments in life so far. Top three moments. Shit, I ain't pregnant. Um. Shit, just my journey overall with mm. my podcasting. Mm. Like, just going up and up. I see myself, like, expanding. I see the growth. I see my communication. I'm even getting better. Because mm. when I started off, I was, you know, shaky. Yeah. But mm. I'm I'm developing. Yeah, so you, are you nervous before you start recording? Like, are you, are you a little, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I hope this shit go right. Or how about say the right shit? You know what I'm saying? No, because I'm talkative. So mm. it's like, I'm a people person, period. Mm. And like I said, I always go for energy. For so sure. it's like, I go off your vibes. Shit, if you giving good vibes, I give you good vibes, you mm. know? Mm. But yeah, if yeah. I feel uncomfortable, I will leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I'm, well, like I'm like i already at yeah. 100 motherfucking K followers. I'm still <laughs> well, go. I'm glad we can give you uncomfortable vibes over here. <laughs> no, it's good vibes for sure. For sure. All for positive sure. energy. For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming on this motherfucker, man. You Thank know you what I'm saying? Episode 201. Me. Let the people know where they can find you on social media, all that good stuff. It's your girl, Big Steph. Also known as Pretty Pink. You can find me on Instagram, underscore, underscore, P R E T T Y Y P I N K. YouTube, Pretty Pink, LL7. Um, don't follow me on Facebook. <laughs> I try to find you on Facebook so I can go ahead and get some real dirt where I can I can find you. Good. <laughs> you want to leave people off with some shit like some motivation words, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uplifting. Yeah. Always talk to God first. How have you start your day? Talk to God. How you end your day? Talk to God. For sure, for sure, for sure. And like I said, it's episode 201. The best podcast is City. Anybody fuck with me if you think different than you smoking motherfucking the best motherfucking weed you ever had. Some shit yep. you drunk ass nigga. Because this is the best podcast in Detroit. Yep. You already know what it is, man. Shout out to everybody. Big stuff. Thick yep. ass stuff. We out Let them know. Man.